Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. G here. Today we are back once again on Minecraft. Now, last we left off, we basically just made a little bit of progress in the skeleton farm. And what I did is I decided to make a water, uh, I guess, elevator uh, to bring the skeletons up. So I will show you that real quickly. What I do is I stand down here. And if this will ever go down, <laughs> stand down here. Jump in here, you guys spawn, ooh, and then, boop, there they spawn, three of them here, and one, two, and three, which is really cool, because if I go down here, and this is after a while, then I flip the switch, they all fell in the water, put it back up, and then I go up here, and these are being funneled up. Now, they have almost no health. And anything new that will spawn will have almost no health and be held in the little kind of holding area. The cool thing is I decided to put this glass right here so that when the zombie... It's skeletons. Skeleton, zombie. I'm getting those two mixed up all the time. Um, but when the skeletons do come up, they will come up right through here, which should be... Right there. There he is. Hello, buddies. And then they kind of just swim up, and they look at me as they go up, and they go, No, don't murder us! And then I go to the top up here, and it's almost nighttime, apparently. I go back up to the top up here, and then we stand in here, and the cool thing is, is they take one more half heart, half heart of damage, leaving them with exactly one half heart left. So, there he is. Two, and where's the third one? Where did number three go? Well, whatever. Anyways, so uh, from there, I've been getting power three, power two, stuff like that. And as you can see, I've actually been doing a little bit of work um, off camera. Actually, a lot of bit of work. Um, I was trying to think of what I could do off camera because my voice wasn't exactly feeling up to recording. So I instead, I decided to clear off this entire area of uh, the dirt, I guess. So there are no more hills. Out. It is all flat until we get to about the Darkwood Forest. Um, which is where I pretty much stopped. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Keep going here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, keep going. Oh, come here. Oh, die. Yes. Murder. So, we'll take care of that. Jeez, these zombies are just the craziest things. Anyway, so that's why I have all these chests out here. And, oh my goodness, that took forever. But, oh my goodness, look at all the dirt. So, uh, also, these are part of the grass blocks. I, I realized that after a while. Because I was trying to break them, and then it just wouldn't work. So that's just part of the texture pack. Anyways, all of that being said, I also have fog. I didn't realize I had fog until, uh, you know, I had all this distance. But I could see fog, which is kind of cool in this game. But here we are. There's the Darkwood Forest. At some point, I'm going to be butchering the Darkwood, Darkwood Forest a little bit from its work. Um... Uh, from its wood because I do need more wood and I'm going to kind of clear that out a little bit. But over here, I actually built a portal. Now, I built this presuming that I would be able to go through and then uh, connect up to my roommate's location. Well, unfortunately, it connects directly to my roommate's location, which means I cannot get back. So I'm not actually going to go through here because I can't get back unless if I walk forever away. Which is kind of annoying. So all of that being said, today what I need to do is I need to find um, a location that I can build my base. Now I was thinking I could build my base in this location. Um, because I really like this location. As you can see, I level it all out. I'm probably going to put like some sort of factories down here or something like that. But I was thinking what better way to do things than to have a sky base. A sky base sounds really awesome and sounds like something I would definitely do. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building first a cobblestone generator because um, although I did cut a lot of uh, rock back, uh, it, mainly in this area right here because everything else was dirt, um, I still have the issue of I probably don't have enough cobblestone and I'm going to be making it out of half slabs and I don't know, maybe wool or something like that. But a lot of things need to be figured out. Oh, which I will figure out over time. Also, the reason that this one is cobblestone instead of glass is because if I swing, I will actually hit this. And I don't want to break whatever it is if I just click and hold. So, 
that is done and said. So now we got to figure out how to get back up to that location. That's that's the part I haven't really figured out yet. Um, I could I could make a waterfall. Go away. They're everywhere. Is that a creeper? That's not a creeper. Okay. Look at them all. They are everywhere. Go away, I said. The little one is biggest, really my biggest issue. Ah, oh, spider! Skeleton! If I build the base, you know, about here-ish, then I can walk back over and I can actually extend that upward into my base, which would be absolutely phenomenal. So that's what I'm going to do, and let's see here. I want to do this to start. What level are we at? We are at level 73. One, two, three. Now I'll just, I'll just keep this up. And we'll see how high 100 is. I don't know if 100 is a great idea yet, but this is 100. I don't like it. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go up to level 150 and see if 150 is something I can deal with. 150. Okay, this is level 150, and oh my goodness... I love this. I love this. The, the mountain is still pretty high up. It's not as big anymore. The skeleton spawner is very clear where it is. Oh, I just love this. I love this entire view. And at some point, I will put a uh, some sort of, uh, what do they call them, uh, ender portal up here. But until then, oh, I love it. I love it. It is glorious. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to figure out what do I want to do building around it? And of course, of course, I forgot to set the smelting up again. But that is not something that I need to worry about quite yet until, until I figured this out. So, biggest issue right now is that there is almost no way down for me. Quote unquote, almost. I'm going to see if this works for me. If I do this right, should be able to drop all the way down. There we go. Woo! Oh, fudge! Ow. I should, theoretically, be able to break this real easily. Um, although, I kind of want to do it there. There we go. Then take the dirt and put it here. Ta-da! Best way ever to do things. And then... All right. I think we're good. Look at that water. It's coming down so perfectly. It'll land exactly where I want it to. And up we go. Awesome! Okay, this is awesome. I am a super huge fan of this. Um, and now I have a way up to my palace. Now, for right now, this is going to be a uh, flying base. At some point, I wouldn't mind building an underground base and maybe a, another base at another location. Um, but that's just for right now. This is kind of cool. Like, I'm not in the water, but I can see in the water. It's like, oh... It's like being an actual elevator. It's really kind of cool. I really like it. Except you're swimming. All right. So, up we go. So, first things first, I probably should put these these uh, furnaces down. And oh, I didn't bring any cobbles. I didn't bring any coal with me. I brought all the cobblestone, but I forgot all the coal. 
course I would do that. That sounds like something I would do. Oh, my goodness. Boop. Okay. Now we are up, and let's see here. There's eight in both of them, and let's see. First, I need to make this crafting bench. This is really crowded up here. There's some chests. And, of course, there's nowhere to put the chests. So, I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, glorious. This is, like, perfection. This is true sky uh, works, I guess. I don't know what the right word is for that. Um, I need another bucket right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go down and get more water. I'll put that in there. Put the coal in there. Put everything, pretty much everything in there. Because at some point, I will come back with it. I need to get more water for right now. And yeah. Whee! Oh, I almost missed that one. Oh, I was so close to missing that one. Oh, I, I probably should have missed that one. That one was so scary. Okay, so that's my new location for everything. I probably should move my bed up there too at some point, but I'll do that after I decide everything is ready to roll because right now everything is stored down here. And I kind of need it down here until everything is figured out up there. So, need me some more water for an infinite source because without an infinite source, I'll have to keep coming down here every 10 seconds. We have 18 in both of these, and then if I do this, I should have a... St oh, boy, I almost fell off a stack or so of this. As long as I don't fall off of this. This is the important part. Don't fall off of the initial location. And I still have to find... I still have to have enough room to jump back down that well. Actually, I probably could just jump down down the well. Probably be the best way of not dying is to stay in the water, not try to get to it later. But, you know, YOLO. Okay, so this is one, two blocks out. So what I want to do is I want to build it. I don't know. How big of a circle should I make? I'm going to make this a big circle. If I'm making a big circle, I probably should do... Uh, let's go with 30... 36? 45 radius? That's a huge circle, but... At the same point, it will help me out a lot because if I, if I do a 45 radius, that really seems like overkill, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll make this one to 45 radius, and then I want it, when I want it bigger, I can make it bigger. But that is at a, at a later date because boop and boop and who do this? Okay, so 45 minus three. Oh, that is golden. It goes right to the edge. It goes right to the edge. That is awesome. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. Bullseye. We are good to go. And that looks... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Step back here. That looks about the same. That's great. Oh, well, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, boy. Well, this is the hard one. Okay, good. I didn't lose it. That was the important part. Oh, I just used the stone. Ha! I just made I just made that into stone, then oh, oh, and then turned it back into cobblestone. That that's great efficiency. Congratulations, efficiency on my end. My goodness, that was stupid. All right, so it looks like we have accomplished quite a bit here today. So, I mean, it is, but it isn't enough. It, like, there, there's, it's not super huge, but it is big enough in such a way that, like, I now have a base to work with. It's not just, you know, live in that hut and have the mercy of whatever creature wants to kill me, how I can stand up here and proudly say that this, this is my home. And it's so beautiful. It is so pretty. I, I'm just going to take a picture right there. Oops, wrong button. There. 
All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And I will see you next one. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to accomplish more with this. And I'll start with that time lapse so that we can actually see um, a little bit more in detail uh, how long it takes me. <laughs> It'll probably take me forever to do, but it'll be fun and I will enjoy it. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>